Cammy is with us. Cammy is in Idaho, Pocatello, to be precise. Hi, Cammy. How are you? Hi, Dave. How are you? Better than I deserve. What's up? So, I am a CEO inventor of a business to business company selling directly to salons across the U.S. We have been selling since February and we've made about 30,000. Good for you. Um, Way to go. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, people have told me that's not good. <laughs> well, February okay. and you made 30,000 bucks in your first year? Yeah. Okay. Well, there's a lot okay. of people a lot of people lost 30,000 bucks in their first year. So uh how is it, you're by yourself? You're doing this as a, a treadmill? Um, there are four of us who are C-suite, which is kind of funny considering how small we are, and then five people who sell for us part-time. Okay. So the, so, the five people that are selling aren't selling a lot then. That's not 30,000. They're not making a living, are they? They're not. They're doing this as a side hustle. Okay. Why uh, can okay. you not sell enough to make it a full-time job? Because, and that's my question, I don't know how to find good salespeople. Training, I'm a chemist, and selling scares me really bad. When I go out and sell, mm -hmm. I I throw up or I cry. <laughs> a little bit in my mouth. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I'm trying to find good salespeople. Um, okay, listen, what I, do you make? Um, right now, I'm totally in... The business, so I don't no, no, bring no, home I'm anything. Sorry. But what my is house. the product that you make? Oh, okay. Uh, it's a it's a brand new treatment for hair. Um, Does I have it a work on it? Y yes. Do you believe in it? Hundred percent. If somebody buys it, is it good for them to buy it? Yes, it will change their hair. Okay, not mine, but somebody else's. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> not yours. <laughs> <laughs> okay, too late on some people, but yeah. Uh, all right. All right. So here's the thing. The reason I ask you those questions, I was setting you up. Yes. The best salespeople are not salespeople. Okay. They're, they're teachers? They're servants. Okay. They believe that this product should be in everyone's hair because their hair will be better. Okay. And they believe if they don't talk you into it, that they let you down. Okay. So quit looking for salespeople and look for servants. Okay. The way I like to think about the best salesperson in the world is a fine dining experience with a white tablecloth. And they come in and they say, Dave, we're so glad you're at the restaurant. Tonight our special is da 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 da, -da. And the perfect wine, we know you love wine, the perfect wine will go with that is this. And if you want to continue to look through the menu, you can. But I got to tell you, this is what I would do if I were sitting in that seat. And every time my water glass is half empty, not one inch empty, but half empty, they're there filling it up, and we don't even realize they're there. And Sharon and I have a wonderful conversation over an incredible meal, and we don't even realize the service has occurred. And when we get done, we realize that we've had a world-class waiter service right? Oh, yes. Okay. I got, I got what I wanted. I was a customer. I had an incredible experience. I had incredible food. I was never thirsty. I was never hungry. I wasn't waiting on the bill for 45 minutes while they waited seven other tables. They were there with the bill at the end. They, you know, when I sat down, they're already pouring a glass of something. I mean, it was from, from, from soup to nuts, a wonderful experience. And it was all because that person saw their job as an opportunity to serve someone and create an experience for them. And that's what selling is. So when I teach you to go get Entree Leadership Elite, it's because it's incredible. And if you run a small business, you ought to be in it. By the way, we're going to sign you up for it as my gift. That's how much I believe in it. And you need to be in it because you need to watch this lesson about serving is selling. Selling is serving. And it changes everything. And then you'll quit feeling nervous about it because you're going to go in and go, it's my job to make sure these folks know how awesome this is. And it's not an ego thing. Financial Peace University, I invented it. 
You know, 10 million people have been through it. It was me on the videos, but it's not an ego thing. The proven facts are is that the average family that goes through Financial Peace University pays off $5,300 in debt and saves $2,700 in the first 90 days. That's an $8,000 change in position. They only paid 80 bucks to go through it. That's called an incredible deal. I can change people's lives if they go through this. If I don't get them to go through it, I let them down. Do you see how I'm feeling? Yes. Yes. That's how you feel about your product, isn't it? Yes. Okay. That's selling. You're okay. serving. You're serving. It's not manipulating someone into doing something against their will, twisting their arm and peddling snake oil. That's not selling. That's ripping people off. Yes. And that's not what you're doing. You have a quality product. I suppose you believe you do, and I believe you do because you said it. You have a quality product at a reasonable price that creates outstanding results. Yes. And to not tell someone about it would be a sin. <laughs> that's a good way to look at it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's, that's, uh, that's serving. I'm serving you. I'm helping you. This is a great bottle of wine to go with this filet mignon. Oh, my gosh. And the lobster tail, if you add that. Oh, surf and turf. Here we go. Game on, boys. I mean, right? I mean, we're having an experience here, right? And that's, mm -hmm. uh, um, you know, have, if you buy something from someone who is slimy, you end up buying it against your will. You were not served. And you've had that experience, and that's why you hate the idea of sales. Yes. But there are times you've bought something when you were completely served and you're unbelievably glad that you did business with that company and bought that product or service, isn't there? Yes. I bought a car not long ago. The guy was incredible. He was one of the best salesmen I've run into in a long time. I tried to hire him. I mean, he was incredible. <laughs> And he just, but he took care of, it was a luxury freaking experience, expensive car, but it was a luxury experience. And it made me want to go back and get another one. You know what I mean? It's like, gosh, you know? And so, and guess what? Guess where I'll go for my next car? Hello. You know, as long as they've got a good one, but I mean, you know, but that's, that's, you know, so that's what you're going to do now. So what you're looking for are crusaders, not salespeople, not someone who's trying okay. to make a buck off of somebody not motivated only by commission. They're motivated because their hair was changed by your product and they feel obligated to tell the world about it. So you okay. might hire them out of some of, um, um, some, some of the salons even. There may be somebody that's in a salon that would make a lot more money selling for you full time if they sold a bunch of this stuff and if you paid a good commission rate. They might make a lot more money passionately selling something they believe in than actually working in the salon. That's possible. And, of course, that depends on the pricing of the product and the comp structure and all that kind of stuff to go with it. But um, I think you're incredible. And so what I had to learn to do, because there's always haters out there, oh, you're just, a, you're just a grifter. You're taking advantage of poor people. No, I'm making poor people not poor anymore, stupid. So, you know, that doesn't make me a grifter. It makes you an idiot, you know. So there's always haters out there. And so anytime you do anything in volume, you can count on that. And, and little people that don't understand, little in terms of their minds that don't understand, you're going to have some of that. But that doesn't matter to a crusader. To a crusader, you're doing the right thing. You believe in what you're doing. And uh, I think you're incredible. And I can just sense off of you that this is going to be highly successful. I think it's going to be 30000 to 300000 to $3 million. And you're going to have problems with the volume of production. I hope that's your problem, not a marketing problem. So you're looking for crusaders that are servants. You're not looking for people who manipulate to take people's money. There's no magic little phrase or script that you can say and take money from intelligent people. I mean, you can take it from dumb people that way, but you can't take it from intelligent people. And these are salons you want to do business with you over and over and over again, so we hope they're intelligent enough to stay open. And that's the beauty of a B2B transaction. You are usually dealing with a more intelligent human. So it's an easier sale to make, but it requires some passionate belief in the act of service, not selling. That, by the way, folks, is a video that you can watch in Entree Leadership Elite. 
So check out Entree Leadership Elite. Go watch that video, and you'll see all the other videos on how to run a business in there that we're going to do that. We're going to sign Cammie up and get her going here, get her a free subscription, get her started.